Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to implement the do while statement. Now we've already implemented the while statement and now we're going to do the do while statement. But what's the difference? Now the big difference between the while statement and the do while statement is where the condition is. So let's quickly look at the flow diagram of the do while statement. So the do while statement, the big difference is the condition is at the end. So first we do the code and then we check the condition. Now this is very helpful in a matter of conditions. Let's say for instance, when we need to display a list of um, instructions to the user. So let's say the user needs to say one for new, two for saved, three to load, and four to exit. And this needs to display at least once to the user. A do while statement is very nice to use. So the basic difference between a do while statement and a while statement is the fact that we first do the body, the code inside the loop, and then we check the condition. So let's go to code blocks and see how we would implement a do while statement in a real world environment. So we've got our main function and inside our main function we're going to create a variable called dummy. Now dummy will be equal to two, let's say for instance. Just this is just an example. So first of all, dummy is equal to two. Then we're going to start our do while structure. We're going to say do open and close curly brackets. And then at the end, we're going to say while condition brackets. And that condition is while dummy is not equal to two. So in the while statement, this condition would have been first checked before we do the body. But now we first do the body and then we check the condition. So we know that dummy is equal to 2 and this will only repeat if dummy is not equal to 2. But unfortunate, dummy is now equal to 2. But the do while will always do the body once. So let's print out just some demo data. Yay! We build and run and let's see what happens. Yay! So yay only prints out once. So we can change this to one and let's say dummy plus plus so first time around we will print out yay dummy is then equal to one we increment dummy and then dummy is still not equal to two let's see what happens yay is still only printed out once so now we can make this zero and we can add a new line just to see what's the difference. And we can run it again. So now we will assume that yay will be printed out two times. Because the first time around, dummy is zero. We print out yay. We increment it so dummy is equal to one. One is not equal to two. Then we go again. We print out yay. That's now second time. We increment dummy. Dummy is equal to two. And two is not equal to 2. That's false. And then we stop. So that is the do while statement in a very basic example. You can use the do while statement in quite a few scenarios and it's quite nice to use it sometimes. But be careful. Remember the do while statement will always run the body at least once. 
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.